I used to be a big fan of the TV series Suits. I watched the first four or five seasons with my family and I dropped it for traveling and other business. Overall, I think it is a good show, there's a lot to like about it, but there's more that I would like to discuss here. Described as the sharpest man in TV, Harvey Specter, the main character, is this genius lawyer at the huge New York City law firm, Pearson Hardman. He cracks the most complicated cases for breakfast and almost doesn't lose in court. He basically is one of the city's best lawyers. Add to all that his efficacious persona, swaggering good looks, and witty one-liners like this one. Life is this. I like this. The other main character is the whip-smart, young protege with photographic memory, Mike Ross, whose talent is introduced in one of the most memorable scenes of the entire show. While delivering a briefcase full of drugs for his friend, he attempts to hide from the cops just to stumble into a hotel room where Harvey Specter is interviewing Harvard graduates to get a job at Pearson Hardman. In the interview, he outsmarts Harvey and gets the job even though he was not only not a Harvard grad but has not graduated from law school at all. Other main characters, Harvey's assistant Donna Paulson, his colleague Louis Slett, who is hard on himself and others quite often, and Jessica Pearson, the managing partner, and last but not least, the associate Rachel Zane, played by Meghan Markle, who married Prince Harry of Britain. I'm not going to dive deep into the show, but I will go through interesting facts I learned while researching for this video. The most interesting was that the actor playing Harvey Gabriel Macht was not chosen for the role initially. His role was given to another actor and he did not get it until the other actor declined it later. Another interesting fact is that Mr. Macht in person is way nicer than the arrogant Harvey and his real character could not be more different. He however was kind of familiar with the low slang as he is surrounded by a family that is full of lawyers. His sister was a district attorney, both his cousins and his aunt are lawyers, and his grandfather was a judge. And he has a close friend lawyer who he described as a much nicer version of Harvey. Mr. Mack didn't win many awards in his acting career, except for a Silver Berlin Bear in 2007 for his role in The Good Shepherd, and was nominated for the Young Artist Award in 19 when he was 10 years old. Another interesting fact about the show is that Gabriel Mack's father, the actor Stephen Mack, appears on the show in the role of the Harvard professor Henry Gerard. Let's put all the drama and suits aside and talk about law. Since the show has law as its theme, it was put under scrutiny by professional lawyers. I found these very insightful reviews by the YouTube channel Legal Eagle that pointed many shortcomings in the low side of things. Legal Eagle Eagle revealed, to me at least, that most of what Harvey and Mike does in their law practice is actually very dangerous and unrealistic and could get them disbarred easily. In the first episode, he spotted three actions that could have disbarred Harvey. I recommend these reviews if you're interested in more details. I also found this very interesting Reddit analysis on the unrealistic parts about suits, in which I am not an authority, but they seemed worthy of mentioning. One is that the lawyer's time management is unrealistic at best. An actual busy lawyer may not have the time to have deep emotional conversations over drinks, argue in the restroom or rooftop, follow a consistent workout routine, on top of working 60 to 80 hours a week. It was also pointed that the ladies' outfits and looks would take two to three hours of daily routine, which is also unrealistic. One more thing is that Pearson Hardman is specialized in finance-related cases, but Harvey and Mike actually take all sorts of cases such as criminal and civil cases. And last, any case they faced can be summarized in the thin blue folder that whenever is handed to any character, all they have to do is glance at the first page to glean all the necessary information they need. This sounds funny actually. And now the elephant in the room. In its 9 years, 2011-2019, the show didn't receive major awards. Gina Torres in Jessica Pearson's role won an Imagine Foundation's Best Supporting Actress and the show received 8 other nominations and that is all. Bear in mind that these weren't even Golden Globes or Emmys, so why is that? 
Well, here I will give my take on suits. First, the storyline is very simple. Basically, Harvey is a superhero lawyer and Mike is the guy that can memorize a book from a single glance. And the main question of the show, especially in the first seasons that I watched, when will everybody find out Mike's big secret? When will the law firm that only hires Harvard graduates find out that this brilliant lawyer they hired was not a lawyer? And that's it. I believe this is the reason why I couldn't even find analysis on the show almost anywhere. Unlike the insane number of reviews and analysis of Game of Thrones episodes at the time I was watching it a few years ago. There's barely two dimensions for the main characters. I've heard from friends and family that the show starts to explore and elaborate more on other dimensions in later seasons, but I mean maybe these twists can work for those who are already fans of the show, which I am, don't get me wrong, but I'm trying to give my verdict on the seasons I watched. You will find a huge difference when you try to compare it for instance with the multi-dimensional characters of How to Get Away with Murder show, which I watch its every single episode, especially the main character. And Elise Keaton, who's also a lawyer. The other reason I believe the show hasn't received major awards is that it coincided with few of the best TV shows in the history of TV shows. Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, Mad Men, House of Cards, Narcos, Stranger Things, and The Blacklist. Suits might have been dealt bad cards in this regard. I mean, these shows. And that's what I have on Suits. Tell me what you think and see you in the next one.